Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out Rock's remote vehicle. This adds like a little remote control car to the game, which looks and seems cool to me. So I was like, why not? Let's check it out today. I would like to apologize for the lack of videos recently. I have been ridiculously busy um, traveling across the country a couple times and you know, I, I'm finally back. So expect um, my big videos like the Night Shifts M MDT and the next um, Emergency Response Simulator update video and all of that to come out shortly. I just have to catch up with uh, life first, which is understandable. Anyway, let's get straight into this one. So on this page, you just click the big releases tab. This takes you to GitHub, fully open source. Very nice of the author for that. And click on that zip button. Open it up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you would love to open up your file with. And while this finishes downloading and um, opening, let me know down in the comments what you think of the new anti-cheat that GTA Online added. Um, if you don't play GTA Online, rocking 5M. Probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you for some reason do, it's something just to keep an eye out that um, they did add an anti-cheat for GT Online, so cool on them. Anyway, we're here, here in my resources folder, and it's pretty easy to create uh, this resource. We're going to create a new folder in here. Just name it Rocks Remote Vehicle. Same as the resource name. And there we go. Um, and then we're going to go in here, and we're just going to drag every single one of these files over to that folder. Pretty simple. Um, and then in here, there is a config.ini. You can edit this with your notepad or notepad++. It just gives you the allowed vehicle list, what is the default vehicle, and then the default command. So you can see RCV is going to be the command to open up that menu. So it's pretty simple and easy. You're going to take the name of this resource folder and just copy it to your clipboard. Go to wherever your server.cfg is. For me, it's in my server data folder. And type in sure or start the name of the resource, rocks remote vehicle there. Go in and save and start up the server. Very simple, very easy to install, just like every single one of our other resources we cover here. And you're just going to take a look at the um, front of here. Just make sure that you see that it started the resource. The started resource rocks remote vehicle. You know you're good to go. Now we can hop in game and uh, check it out. All right, so we are in game here, and it's pretty easy to get started. You just type RC vehicle or RCVH. And you can see, let me hide the chat. Um, you can see here that it lets you select the vehicle and you can enable it. Once you enable it, you can see I'm running around with it. Pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and just place it down here on the side of the road. And I can go to RC vehicle management. In here, by default, your control is player. That means you can pick it up. But you can just switch it to remote control and you get switched to remote control. Now, in terms of the screen being very dark, this is due to my graphics pack. And I can't really do anything about it while I am in game. You can disable uh, these screen effects, I believe, inside the config. So if you go in here, uh, you can turn this screen effects to false. So if I switch that to false, I come back in game here, switch back to the player. I'm going to go ahead and real quick stop this resource and then restart it. So I'm going to stop it and then start it. And then if I go ahead and try that again um, and place down that vehicle onto the road here, switch to remote control. You can see I no longer have those screen effects. And since I have a graphics pack, it's not having problems. So obviously I would um, for sure keep it in um, no screen effects if you have any players using graphics packs. And obviously you can see the uh, signal connection at the bottom. I've lost connection. Oh, well, so I can switch back to player and I have to run closer to it to be able to regain uh, connection. And obviously when you get closer, you have connection again, which is pretty cool. And you can drive it around. You can obviously see yourself. I don't know if you can hit yourself. You can run under yourself. Um, but it's a pretty cool resource. I like it. Hopefully this is uh, just kind of a useful, fun thing for you to uh, play with on your server. And um, if you have any questions with it, ask the author over on the resource page. Um, anyway, I'm going to pick it up. And I will go ahead and just um, remove it. Very easy. Very simple. Very cool. Anyway, thanks for um, checking this out today. I'll see you in the next video in a couple days.